Hello, welcome back to the show. Today we're here at the booth of H. Moser & Company with none other than Edward Melan, the CEO and co-owner of the brand. How are you, Edward? I'm very good. Thank you for having us. Of course, thank you for having us as well. Eh? How do you like to buy watch this year? How has it been for you? Uh, a lot of energy. Um, I think it's number six for me. Wow. Uh, it's been a few years now. So from the beginning, huh? Yeah, yeah I remember the first year when we were like in a small At the galleries? gallery yeah. there and then people were asking, what's that brand? Nobody knew, <laughs> we didn't see that many yeah. people. And now you see like so many people no, you can't wearing even keep up with watches. The watches yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Awesome. It's great energy, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, I always love it because it's a nice mix of beautiful food as well. <laughs> a good atmosphere and people who really want to learn about these watches and will be passionate they, they about know, independence. And many know about it. Yeah. I mean, I think it's really the, the, the fact that they do it every two years has contributed to creating this huge community of, yeah. of watch lovers, yeah. aficionados, yeah. and so much knowledge. Yeah. And because it's every two years, once it opens, everybody loves to come here, you know? Yeah. So today we're going to talk about two watches, one on the wrist and also one on the tray here. Let's start with this one. It's a watch I didn't see in person yet, actually. Until now. Tell us. What is it? Uh, it's did, something special. It it's something special. You remember 2020, we middle of the COVID, we launched our first collaboration with MBNF. Yeah. And it was the double collaboration, two watches, the uh, LM101 double hairspring. And on the other one, we had the uh, Endeavor Cylindrical Tourbillon. Well, huge success for both brands. Yes. Max and I sat down afterwards like, how? what do we do next? A very good match. Huh? Yeah, very we said, good. let's wait a few years, maybe in five years, in 10 yeah. years, we'll do another one. Inshallah. And then, uh, and then uh, came Only Watch 2021, the big auction. Both MBNF and Moser fetched crazy prices. We were at more than $750,000 for our watch. The MBNF was selling, I think, also 650000 uh -huh. Amazing results, which puts pressure because what you need to do something yeah. even better. How to top it, huh? So I was thinking, well, how do we do something even better? And I went to Max and said, do you have, do you have a plan for the next auction? He's like, yeah, I have a few ideas. I'm like, what about a collaboration? It's like, ah, uh, I don't know, you have an idea what we could do? I said, yeah. And I came up with drawings of a streamliner miniature Peter with the different options of LM1, uh, 101 or yeah. other escapements from MBNF. I was like, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. It was like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah and, but do you think we can do like, it in two go. years? Can we develop that movement? I'm like, yeah, it's, if we want to make one, we'll do it. And then we started the discussion yeah. with the Panda, the thing, and then a, like yeah. fight to, to get on time. And, and the result is the Pandamonium. Whose idea was the panda? Like where did the it's panda the, come the from? The MBNF guys yeah. idea. They always try to keep the panda as part of kind of the theme for only yeah. watch for them. It's this idea of dream of kids, and I think it's a, that's what makes this concept so strong. It's it's a very technical watch, very spectacular yeah. from a mechanism standpoint. Absolutely. The design is amazing, but there's also the philosophical aspect, the romantic aspect. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, the little panda here, the DJ, when you yeah. activate the miniature Peter, the DJ is actually spinning uh, <laughs> this. So it's basically a, like this. Oh yeah, yeah it's exactly much. like this, pretty much. So it's little it, hands five move. millimeters. Uh, yeah, uh, the disc Good luck with that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, an amazing development. Again, the idea is to sell it for, for only watch. We created one movement yeah. and we will only make one movement. That's it. That's it. No so special edition coming, nothing. Just this is it. I mean, we will have yeah. uh, miniature Peters also in the streamliner eventually, but nothing with like, like that with the MBNF movement. Yeah. So that makes it even more special. Awesome. And I think that's what Only Watch is all about. Yeah. So now Only Watch has been struggling. I mean, there's been a lot of questions. We hope it happens and we're keeping the watch ready for May if the auctions take yeah. place. And if not, then we'll see what we do. So when I saw the drawings, I first thought it's going to be a mix between the Aquapod, the streamliner and the uh, HMX. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was not, I was right on not, the streamliner, but that's about it. I, <laughs> because on the drawing, it had like a capsule on the bottom as well. Yeah. So I thought it's like a rotor, like on the aqua pod. Sure, so, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I was the wrong. panda in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah was but I was wrong. Yeah. Maybe ne <laughs> next one. Maybe next one. You got the idea. Come to me, yeah. <laughs> I got you. So you also launched a new watch during the Y Watch Week. A True. very popular model, which you can't even make enough of. Huh? <laughs> that's why I always hear from my friends. Can you get me a streamliner? I'm like, I'm not a magician. So yeah, you, we, you, you we, listen to the audience. We had, a, we had quite a big success with the streamliner yes. over, the, over the years. And um, now for a couple of years, we, I, my dream was to be able to have a smaller movement for each mm. motor. So we worked a lot on, the, on a micro rotor. Yeah. And the micro rotor is the latest movements that we, de we develop. We see it here. Yeah. Smaller movements, slimmer movements. And it allows us for the first time to develop a 39 millimeter streamliner. It's a great size. Great size. A little bit above 10 yeah. millimeters high. 
And what's also beautiful is the MI Grand Feu uh, yeah. dial on, on top of yeah. it. It's a mix of three different uh, pigments that we mix, put in the oven uh, on gorgeous. a gold plate, a hammered. Creates a, a beautiful, very slim, I and mean, works very well, even on small wrists like, uh, like mine. I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, and the bracelet's fantastic on this one. Bracelet is very comfortable, doesn't pull your hair, fits any size. And that's made the success of the, of the, uh, the Streamliner, I think. Mm -hmm. Over the years, it's become a very iconic uh, of Moser. We try to balance between the, the pioneer that we have yeah. here, we have the heritage, we have the endeavor, but Streamliner is very, very yeah. strong. But sure. we keep it about 30%, also because the bracelet is difficult to make. Here, yeah. with the enamel dial, you can expect, you know, we cannot make thousands of breakage Breakage as well, huh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We only make 3,000 3, watches a year. Yeah. And, uh, and Streamliner is about 30% of that. So it's about probably, yeah, 800. Wow. So is, is this movement now the base for future developments yeah. or, yeah? Yeah, in that collection, in other collections. Right now, we said we do, we do something, you know, uh, quite complex with the dials. Mm -hmm. So we can make sure that we, do, I mean, we cannot create suddenly a thousand of those movements. Yeah. So we do, we do it right. And then later on, we'll introduce it in other collections. Awesome. And also it gives us the possibility to go down to about 36.1 millimeter. Oh, in great. diameter, so opens a new segment. Yeah. Smaller wrists. Maybe ladies' pieces as well. We we'll always talk about unisex watches, but yeah, definitely true. for a smaller <laughs> wrist. We talk about this only online, Edward. Yes. Come on. <laughs> so is it limited? What's the price point of this? Is it available even? It is available, of course. We just launched it two days ago, but we it's, it's not limited. Of them. <laughs> it's not limited, but we only produce about 150 a year. Yeah. Uh, price point in US dollars, 32,900. In yeah. euros, 34,000, and in Swiss franc, 29,900. Yeah, nice. So it gives you a, an idea. I think here in, uh, uh, in Dubai, the price is 125,000 okay. euros. Perfect. As far as I know. Edward, thank Marco. you so much for your time. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Guys, check out the other videos on the channel. We'll be doing the Dubai Watch Week show. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. See you soon. Maybe in Schaffhausen. Maybe.